Hi Diamond Friends, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate it. I know you all are busy, so um, thank you for visiting me. So today I have an unboxing. This is from Jada Gem Shop. I was really excited to get it. It took, it took a while, but it was expected. On the website, it does say that your order will take between three to 12 weeks, and I believe mine was a full 12 weeks, so. But that's okay, I expected it. I was just, you know, you're just anxiously waiting. Not that I'm going to start it anytime soon. Um, I kind of wish I would have got a smaller kit with one of these so I could try it out. I think that's what I'm going to try to do going further. I just unboxed a um, some canvases that I got from Home Craftology, and I did order some smaller ones. So I was, I hopefully will be able to start one and kind of give you guys, um, you know, let you know how what I think of the canvas. So it came taped like that in on this thick bag. <clears throat> so let me just go ahead. And so these are, I think these are taped together. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, I, th I think they are. So let's see. Hopefully, I'm not going to rip anything. Is that, yeah, so I think it's taped there and it's taped here. So when I started, oh, look at there's a logo right there Jada Gem Shop. When I started diamond painting, I started buying diamond paintings last year in July. And but I didn't actually start diamond pa painting. Well, I guess I did do the Olaf one. But by the time I found um, the princess panels, they weren't available on Diamond Art Club anymore. And I really liked them. And I discovered that you can only um, get them like on most of them on a cross stitch conversion. But I was kind of afraid of that. And then I just kept, I really wanted at least three of them so I thought well you know what I'm just gonna try it and if it takes me a year or two years to get it done then it, it takes that long but at least I'll get the ones that I want so let's see I got one so this is my cross stitch conversion and this is a diamond painting because I I knew I'm not sure I wasn't sure when I was gonna start the cross stitch conversion so I wanted to get a regular diamond painting and then after I bought it I heard that Anthony over at Single and Placing is going to have an event with cross stitch conversion. Um, so I might go ahead and start it. I'm not sure, but that will motivate me to start it. So we'll see. So I was excited about that because it came at the right time when I had ordered one. So why don't we look at what I got first and then we'll look at the cross stitch conversion which is a blank canvas, so. So this is the box and right here, oh wait, this is the cross stitch conversion. <laughs> I thought it was, yeah, this is my diamond painting. So let's look at this one first. So this is what I got. I got, I got the reader. I don't know anything about this character. I believe it's from a book and I kind of looked it up before I started the video. And I think it's from Thorns and Roses or something like that. And if I am remembering correctly from my subscription box days, I didn't, I wasn't interested in that series. I think it just had too many adult things going on in it. And I believe at first it was geared towards young adults. And then now because of all that it has, it is geared towards adults. And I'm not interested in all that. And so again, I don't know who she is, but I just like that she was the reader. She was beautiful. And I just thought this would be a pretty one to, to do. It's a portrait. So I don't have too many portraits. Well, I do have some fairies portraits, but, but I also heard that Jada Gem Shop does a great job with rendering, especially with skin tones. So I just wanted to try it out. So let me move these scissors so I don't have any accidents with anything. Okay, so let's see. So right here, you have the legend. Let me take my glasses off. I'm one of those people who have to keep taking my glasses on and off. So isn't she just so pretty? And then these are all the colors. 46 colors.
And I saw that um, Lindsay at Diamonds and Emeralds, I believe her channel is, she had to unbox this and had started started it and it was looking so really so nice so I thought you know I'm just gonna go ahead and get it I've been this is the one that I kept coming back to when I would go to her shop although there are others I, I want to get the there's one that looks like Frodo and there are just a lot of other ones that I would like to get so I just keep hearing great stuff about Jada Gem Shop so I thought I'm just gonna finally make the plunge you know, look at your little washi tape here. So let me just move all this out of the way and get the canvas. Okay, try not to get too much in the frame. So let me just move this down a little bit. Let me get on the other side. That's what I'll do. But isn't she so gorgeous? I like reading, so. And then, um, you know, I liked her outfit. It wasn't too revealing or anything like that. So she just kind of reminds me of an elf. And I'm, I know she doesn't go to the Lord of the Rings, but she's going to be in my, my book, uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so here you get a sticker sheet. And I like that this isn't glossy. Because when you write on these, if you ever do need these extras... Um, your pen or you could even use a pencil I'm sure with the glossy ones the ink smears but isn't she so pretty she looks a little pouty like she's pouting or she's not she's a little upset or serious maybe it's seriousness because that's how I am I'm like I don't you probably have known from my videos I'm kind of more on the serious side um 43 I could be funny and stuff too once you get to know me but I am like more serious <laughs> Oh, I try not to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll. Let's roll this a little bit. I think it'll, let's just go like this very gently so we don't get any of the stickers. There. Oh, I'm sorry, there's colors up here. It's 46 colors. And I think I kind of mentioned that on the, when I pulled that out. And there's her logo. So I'll probably cut this out and put it in my log book, of course, with this. And I like that it's on the end right here as well. So I usually store some of my canvases I'll store um, with the boxes like this standing up, but um, I store them both ways because I just gotta fit them wherever they fit. Okay, so <clears throat> where'd that little washi tape go? So you get a little washi tape, green, and Let's see, maybe I can move this up a little bit. I'm trying to show the rest of my room because it's kind of, let me go like that. I just gotta remember to put my hands up further. That way I could go put her up a little bit more. And so you got some release paper, which is nice. I like that because I use release paper and you could cut it to your size. Oh yes, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to just check the stickiness. So there, the stickiness comes a little bit over, like right there. So that's where this will come in. And it's probably just the right size, so. So her canvas has the two legend. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's one legend on this one. You have the legend at the bottom. You gotta remember that I put the camera up a little bit. And the, it has a border all the way around. And at the very top of the canvas, you have it's 60 by 75 centimeters. You have the, the reader, the name of the art, and the artist is, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. And it's legally licensed, but it's right there. So I apologize about that. There's her logo. And on this side, you have uh, Instagram, um, social media. <laughs> I was looking for the word, but um, you have Instagram, YouTube, and her website, jadedgemshop.com. That's where you can find her. So, and then, so let's look at the drill field. So I think there's going to be some... Um, a lot of confetti in this one and confetti is when there's a lot of 
diamond changing in the colors. And look at that face. So even the face has quite a few colors. But Jade is known for having more confetti heavy, which is not a bad thing when I'm talking about confetti. Me, personally, I don't know if I like confetti more than color blocking yet. I'm still new to diamond painting. And I've only completed like seven canvases. Uh, and I have like all these whips going. But so I'm still, I'm still new and trying to figure out what I like and don't like. But so far, everything I've done, I've been working on a Chuck Penson and I've been enjoying that. So let's take a look at the drills. Oh, look at all these bags. Look at all those colors. <clears throat> There's going to be a lot of dark colors, so I'll probably have a smaller kit going that is more colorful at the same time. And I did get these in squares. I wanted squares since it was a portrait. So there's a lot of dark colors, but it's going to look so beautiful when it's done. Isn't she just gorgeous? So that is this one. And if you want ABs, you do have to. Um, add those to your order and they will chart that in and Jade does uh, let her supplier know not to put any ABs in the face like on the skin color I don't know about eyes but I do remember her saying that she doesn't um, she lets them know not to put any on the like the skin tone and I think it is all on the face but um, yeah it's really gorgeous I'm gonna really like this one when it's done this is my like my first more human I know it's I mean like her ears are pointing so she's like I don't know who she is. She's a fairy, maybe. Um, but, yeah, so this is one of... Um, I have another portrait, I guess, of a... Um, of, like, a fairy, but... I don't know. I just feel like this is, like, one of my more human-looking portraits. So, that was in this box. I think I'm just going to keep it out for now. And... So, the bags have one of three. So, you know, you have three bags. And then it has this number right here. So I think that that correlates with this GJZ326, yeah. So if you do separate your drills from the canvas, you will know that you should have three bags and they all have the number on there. So let's put that over here. <clears throat> and this is my cross stitch and this is Elsa. So, let's see. So there are three princess panels that I really wanted. And those are the three that I'm going to try to get. Um, I have two. I have another Jaded Gem Shop order. I don't know when that one will be here. I haven't checked on it. And uh, so I have two and I need to order one more. And I don't know when I will order the last one. But I hope it will be soon because I just never know when they're going to not be around anymore. So with the cross stitch conversion, you do need to order the cross stitch pattern, I guess it's called. I'm not exactly sure with all the lingo um, from another website on Etsy. And I can't, I don't remember the website um, name right now, but I will link that below. And if I forget, please let me know and I will add it. But there she is. Look at all those pretty blues. I was a little bit concerned because again, like with this one, there's a lot of dark colors. And so this one also has like a lot of dark colors, but I'm hoping the blue will help offset that. And I don't know how many colors this is. It doesn't say at the bottom. So with Jada Gem Shop, you get the canvas, you get the drills, and you get this for your, you put this in your log book. Um, <clears throat> And DMC replacements. I don't know. Um, so let's see. I know it's blank, but we'll just kind of take a look at it. And you know what I didn't mention is in the is this is like a sparkly. And. Yeah, I do hope that, because I did show like this, I'm not sure if I'm showing anything that I shouldn't have been. I didn't realize that. Um, so maybe if I just show part of it right here. So.
So, yeah, I'm not sure. Did I just do something that I shouldn't have? So this is a stone list. I won't show the whole thing just in case. And then some more release paper, which I really like. And so these are the grills. I'll show you in just a moment. And this is the canvas. So this is going to be, so this is the blank canvas. And there is the top. So I don't know how long is this. It, it's 36 by 108 centimeters. And like the other one, it has um, her logo at the top. And what I do like about this, um, I've never done a cross stitch conversion before, but what I think is gonna be very helpful are these grids right here. So that way you just do this amount and then you can move on to the next one. So I'm hoping with that, that that will be, that will help me out. Because I am prone to messing things up. Let me see, let me see if I could go up. This is a little bit stiffer. Let me just see if I go like that. <clears throat> Not like super stiff, but just, you know, I guess thicker maybe I should say. Okay, so here are the colors, one of three. Look at all these beautiful colors. Jada Gem Shop use, uses resin drills. A lot of dark colors. Look at all these beautiful blues. Let's see. So, yeah, so that's about it, really. I'm really excited about this. So, I hope I didn't show anything I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't thinking about that, but, like, this thing just has all the colors with, um, I think that's the DMC. So, and this is a sticker. That's nice. I wonder what the stone list is. I guess I'll find out when I, maybe once I download, I already downloaded the Elsa pattern and all that from the cross stitch. I got to print that all out now. So, but yeah, so maybe I'll start this this year. Maybe I won't finish it, but maybe I can at least start it. What I do like about the cross stitch conversion is you get to just kind of see the, the um, image come to life because there's nothing here. So once you start adding it, you get to see the color and it just start coming to life. So that's one thing that I do like about cross stitch. Not that I've done one, but when I see them, when people are working on them. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit uh, scary at the same time, because there's nothing there. And so for me and how, you know, I make mistakes when I have the, the image on the canvas. So that's what's a little bit scary for me is I guess we could look at the drills. So, <clears throat> so Jada Gem Shop has them in these bags. I like it, how it's like a Ziploc bag. And let's do one with a little bit more blues. I'm not going to take them all out. But I do like that she has them in this bag. You could reuse this one. Oh no, I'm scared to take them out. So, oh, and they are, are they? Oh, that's nice. So when you're kidding up, um, you don't have to have that big old long train. So here are some of the colors, 3766. 3766. Let me take my glasses off. My stomach's growing. I need to get something to eat. And then these are 939. Let's see. Ooh, look at this color. 3843. Is that pretty? And 
sometimes I get this pretty color. This is 3839. Oh, look at this one. Seven seven five. Aren't these gorgeous? Let me get my glasses on so I can see. <clears throat> get this one. Three eight four three. Those are such pretty colors. Oh, grab these. Three zero four seven. beautiful I really like all these blues so that is it for you today do you own a jaded gem shop canvas let me know in the comments have you worked on one let me know I appreciate it and how how did it go I haven't seen or heard um, anything negative about her shop so so that is neat oh no I gotta sneeze just one moment Okay, <clears throat> so remember to live a life filled with color. It's so much prettier that way, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!